Welcome to Conway, everyone. Lincoln Rose, along with Butch Alcindor. Brooke Bentley will be joining us in just a little while here on ESPN3. But Butch, you love it when the final week of the season truly means something. No doubt about it. It's a chilly night, but how great is it to have the final game actually mean something? And it could very well come down to how well that Sam Houston State defense can stop that power attack from Central Arkansas. Let's take a look at how the standings are starting to take shape in the Southland Conference. McNeese State comes into tonight unbeaten, but if they stumble this evening against Lamar, Central Arkansas with a win could match them at 8-1 and split the 2015 Conference Championship. Sam Houston State, they want to win here on the road to feel a little bit more confident about their odds of moving on to the postseason. Well, they had so much success a year ago did Sam Houston State in that postseason because of Jared Johnson at quarterback. He got them back to the national semifinals. This guy is a very gifted athlete and he can do it all. He can do it with his arm. He can do it with his legs. He's 6'1", 215 pounds, and he has so much poise in the pocket. Last week, he tossed three touchdown passes, completing 21 of 32. The guy was sensational. He looked like he was running a practice drill. Johnson emerged last year as a leader. Meanwhile, for Central Arkansas, this year's breakout star, Blake Beasley, now a little over 100 yards removed from 1,000 yards on the season. Yeah, he's a John Madden type guy. He's a grinder. He'll get in there and get that tough yardage for you, and he he will be crucial in how well the Bears can control that time of possession tonight. Of course, he had that big game earlier this year, 49 carries and 292 yards. And tonight, he is closing in on 1,000 yards for the season. Have to imagine the committee is tuning in from their offices up there in Indianapolis. A chance to move on to the postseason on the line tonight in the Southland Conference kickoff next here on ESPN3. Aiden Hildebrand, the sophomore. He's done a fantastic job. Uh, he's done more than just manage the offense. I mean, this guy has really done well with not making the big mistakes. Good protection. Hildebrand wants it all down the sideline. A diving catch at the 30. Brought in by Desmond Smith. You know, what, what a fantastic play and what a way to start this game. We were just talking about how he's a really good game manager. Well, you know what? He can also come up with some big plays. He's an excellent passer. And Desmond Smith, how about that catch? A diving catch. He beat his man down the sidelines and made the great catch. And as there you see emerging is the former running back out of Lawrence, Kansas, for the Jayhawks and Corey Avery. He'll split carries with... Jalen Overstreet, a transfer from Texas. And that was just some good hard running right there by Avery. You can see that line getting a good surge right there in Avery, doing an excellent job of finding his blocking in there and picking up that first down yeah, Avery for the Bearcats. Dallas native with 12 total touchdowns on the year. 872 yards rushing. So if he has a huge game tonight, he could go for 1,000 yards. And that we'll hear about at halftime. That would be helped off the field. Johnson, great protection down the middle. And that ball didn't skip off the turf. They are saying it is a catch at the 38-yard line. Yedidiah Lewis at the moment with a fantastic diving grab coming back for the football. Sam Houston wants to hurry up because in the Southland Conference, there is instant replay. And they got it off. Johnson, the near sideline. And that ball was absolutely caught. That was the right move, though. You had a questionable play. What a great effort, though, going down to get that football. And then they hustle up to the line of scrimmage. They want to go fast anyway. And they got up there and made the, And look, here is another look this at This is it. the previous play. What and a great that's catch. a catch. He got it. Wow. Avery, his third carry, a big one up the middle on what was second and one. He has the Bearcats inside the red zone. Be Jalen Overstreet in the backfield with his first touch on the day. Overstreet. Breaking tackles in for the touchdown, and Sam Houston State with its first lead on the night here in Conway. You know, they talk about how one might be thunder and one might be lightning. That, that's thunder right there. There's no doubt about it. Overstreet with his first touch, and he takes it all the way into the end zone. You see the give inside right there. Great seal block right there. It opened the hole, and Overstreet high steps it into the end zone for the Sam Houston State touchdown. That young man was recruited out of high school as a quarterback just on the edge of the red zone. Good protection for Hildebrand. Tries to keep the play alive with his feet. Wilson goes up and cannot haul it in before going out of bounds. They said the little fella stepped out of bounds, but what a great effort. Watch him climb the ladder there. Not very big at all. Jatavius, they list him at 5'9". 
But he goes up to about 6-1 right there and makes that great catch. Unfortunately, he could not get his foot down in bounds. Adrian Contreras makes sure that he is unable to get that first foot down. On second and 10, an end around to Wilson. And he'll pick up at best a yard. See, there's that little jet sweep I was talking about. They bring him around from the outside, and they use Veasley just to just pound that middle, soften things up inside, and they try to use him to turn the corner. Johnson. That ball swatted down. As nice coverage by Ricky Wyatt, preseason second team all conference selection. The intense emotional leader of this defensive unit. Ricky Wyatt doing a nice job right there. Johnson had a man in the end zone. Yedidiah Lewis was trying to go to him and he might have had a chance to get him, but Wyatt got that one big hand up there and got a little bit of that football and was able to knock it away. Third and three, looking for a two score lead. Lewis in motion. Up the middle and in. Bearcats back on the board. And for a second time tonight, Corey Avery with the touchdown. Man, that was, that was almost too easy. That's one of those where you, you pat your offensive lineman on the backside and you say, way to go, guys, because he had nothing but wide open spaces there. Johnson right there, hands it inside. And look at the great blocking. They had everything sealed off. Might be the easiest touchdown Corey Avery will have this year. Johnson, pump fake, eludes the pressure, has his man down the middle. Bearcats looking to add insurance before the half. As this time, they connect with Gerald Thomas to extend their lead on the road in Conway tonight. Boy, that was all Jared Johnson buying some extra time in the pocket. He was under duress right there, scrambled away from it, found Thomas coming across the middle, and things will break down in the secondary when you have that kind of pressure for just a second. It looked like Johnson might be sacked, but he got away, bought that extra time, and that gave Thomas all the time he needed to get open in the middle of the field.